You gonna tell us or not? Okay, where is it? This afternoon, we executed a search warrant at a house where we had previously made some heroin buys. We detained a male subject who was very uncooperative. We also detained his wife, and we're hoping that she'll tell us where the heroin is. Just tell me. Get it over with. I'm not gonna get arrested. You're not gonna get arrested. That's my word. I promise you. I promise you, with all my heart, you're not gonna get arrested. In the crib, with the dirty clothes. It's in the crib. It's in here. You got it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a good ball. There it is right there. It's a good chunk. It's a good chunk. Let me show it to him and tell him. Está bueno. It just magically appeared otra vez. Cayó del cielo entonces. Pa que no vamos a echar mentiras. You got a man up? It's yours? Okay. I put a little pressure on him, and he finally, you know, said, yeah, you know, all the stuff, you know, all the drugs that you found in my house, they're mine. Basically, he just, he just didn't want to have uh, his wife arrested. Mira, mira, mira. Vamos a hablar en la comandancia. Allá dentro de un cuarto donde no se oye nada. Me ayudas a mí, Néstor, y te ayudo. The guy's going to talk, so we're going to take him down to the station. But like I promised, I'm going to leave the wife here. Hopefully, her husband will flip and give us his supplier, and we'll just work ourselves up the chain. Home sweet home. If the gate's open, then we'll park somewhere here, out of sight. And tear down the, the air condition and put a weapon inside. Based on the information that we got from the spider house yesterday, we're going to go ahead and raid a house today using the SWAT team. We believe that this guy might be armed, and if our information is correct, he could be a significant mid-level dealer. Heroin, marijuana, cocaine. Shutting this guy down would definitely make it harder for users in this neighborhood to score for a while. Pharmacy here. He had about 300 hits of uh, rohypnols, roofies, also known as the date rape drug. Also inside the box, he had 20 doses of coke and about $2,000 in cash. Total seizures worth about an estimate about $10,000. Looks like this guy was the middleman for the small time dealers out in the street. The money that he makes here goes right back into Mexico to the hands of the cartel, which keeps him in business. So they send more drugs through the corridor here, through Laredo, and up through the northern cities of the United States. It's a vicious cycle. So what we want to do is we want to try to flip them to get to the big dogs. We squeeze them as much as we can on information. And then from there, you know, we start getting the big loads. 